You know what? All this talk of workspaces and everything is just making me hungry. But before we stop and snack, I do have one more thing I do want to show you here. I'm going to get out of Photoshop for a second and go to the desktop. I want to show you an application over here that comes with the Creative Suite, comes with Photoshop, and it's called the Configurator. It's kind of like the Terminator. I'll be back. Okay, so I can't do a good Schwarzenegger impression. I'm going to double click and open up the Configurator. Now, what is it? The Configurator is a program that allows you to make and customize your very own panels in Photoshop or in Design and put anything in them you want. It's actually pretty cool. So sit down and put on your thinking cap and think about what you do a lot of that you're kind of going to the menus for or whatever. And it would be kind of neat if you had a panel to do that. Now all the steps are right here as you can see. We're going to start by clicking Create Panel. Now you give the panel a name. Andy's panel. Do you want it for Photoshop, CS6, or 5 and 5.5, or my other favorite program on the entire planet that's in design, and that's 5 or 5.5 or 6? We're going to go Photoshop CS6 here. Go ahead and click OK. The next step, really all up to you. What do you want in it? Now you can make it bigger or smaller. It can be reconfigured when you use it, so it can be changed as you use it, and put it to any size that you want. Then you come over here. Now let's say we go into commands and we go into main, which is where all the menus are. See, I use certain filters a whole lot. And maybe I want one of my own panels, and you can have more than one, that deal with some of the filters I use on a regular basis. So we go into filter right here. And let me go ahead and make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. Oh, yeah, convert to smart. Use that all the time. I think I'll drag that over. Now you can put it anywhere you want within this list. I do use Filter Gallery a whole lot, so I think I'll put that one over here too. So this panel might be more or less just things about filters. And we can get into any of the filters. How about Vanishing Point or Oil Paint or Liquify, Lens Correction? Yeah, I use Lens Correction, so I think I'll put that one over here too. And then we get down here. Of course, you've got all the filters. Gaussian Blur. Understand is one of the most used filters in the entire program. There are 125 filters in this program, or thereabouts, and that one, according to survey, is the most used filter in Adobe Photoshop. Everybody loves to Gaussian blur, but how about maybe something like a lens blur, too? Now, I'm going to stop there. You get the idea. You can put this together any way you want. You could now make it smaller because we don't need that much space. So we could go ahead and collapse a little bit over here. Something like that, maybe. If I select one of these, you will notice, let me scroll down to some of these other options, like here, basic attributes. Each one of these things has different attributes. You can change the label. I would totally avoid the script, unless you really know what you're doing. It has a tooltip. You can define the width and the height, in that terms of minimum and maximums, proportions positions, all those things. You've got a lot of options over here where you can customize it just a little bit more. But we like what we've got. We're doing something simple. Go up to the word File on the pull-down menu and go down to Export Panel. Now it's going to open up in the Panels area, and I would recommend leaving it there. In fact, you've got to leave it there. Don't change that. Create a new folder, and we'll call it My Panels. I'm so good with these names, aren't I? We'll go ahead and create that and click Select. Okay, it's successfully exported. If I click OK, now I'm going to quit out of here. But understand, if you ever want to come back and change this one, you need to go and save this one too. Right here. Because that saves the edited version right here and you can come back and work on it. I'm not going to do that. So when I try to quit, it's going to say, well, do you really want to do that because you haven't changed it? And I'm going to say, no, I don't want to save it. So where is it? Well, go up to the word Window on the pull-down menu and go down to Extensions, and there it is, Andy's Panel. And it'll open it up and give you exactly what you asked for. You can have as many of these as you want. 
I would strongly suggest if there are certain things that you really use a lot in Photoshop or in design, these are excellent for getting to what you need to quickly. On to the next.